What is up guys, Rekas here with a new video and today with a bunch more summons that we're going to do. Some epic summons, some normal summons, everything mainly with the aim today to get Igor upgraded. I want to get him to Mythic Plus at least to unlock the weapon and uh, in the optimal case we get him to Supreme Plus because I really want this guy to Supreme Plus to show you a PvP team I've been working on. So that is the aim for today. Uh, I've got something else prepared. We will also do some battle drew content in, content in the future video and I saved up the keys you get some keys here you can get some nice stuff from this basically you have two choices either you take the top one where you can get some uh, soul stones a level which are pretty interesting um, there is also 0.2% chance for 3000 gems and uh, mainly the decision that you have to make is uh, do you want this 0.2% chance for 3000 gems and, uh, well, a bunch of basic recruitment things. I like these soul stones in here, actually. Or do you instead just want straight up diamonds? Because this just offers diamonds. The chance for the epic and the normal recruitment is actually the same. So I personally, I like to go for the 3000 diamonds. Uh, just want to see if I can get those. Right now, I'm hoping we get one epic invite letter. That would actually be kind of cool. Uh, which one was the top one? Thrill Seekers Adventure. Okay. Um, because we need one more. We have uh, 89 at the moment, which is uh, not that great. So we're just going to throw in 15 uh, at once and going to hope we get this. If we get the 3000 gems, that would be crazy. Most of the time, I'll be honest with you guys, I got guild medals and not the big amounts. So we will see. Let's go. Well, 55% chance for guild medals. Yeah, we'll see. Come on. That is... Uh, probably above average given that we got a normal invite letter in here the loot from that is really not that great i'll be honest with you guys that's one a tier and one invite letter so uh, i mean i take it it's better than i usually uh, get the stuff on this i think they should put some more loot in there i should think they should put some more loot in there um feels a bit low well that being said, let's hop into our recruitments. We'll have to live with the 89. Uh, we have 32 normal recruitments here. I think we can go maybe by like 50 more so that we have 80 and then we have 89 epic recruitments here. We did a summoning video quite recently. We were pretty lucky on that one. Pretty lucky on that one. Um, we'll have to see if we can repeat this 15 to go till the pity timer. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to keep Lumont in permanently or if we're going to switch that for Brian. I probably want to switch that to Brian. I just wanted one copy of him. So if we pull him, I'm, I'm going to switch him to Brian afterwards. So let's go. First 10 bomb. Can we get a few S tiers? Can we get enough Igors? Igors are the goal. Igor is the goal here. If we get Thor into Paragon, I don't complain. Ah, oh, we skip that. That's a single A tier. Yeah. Well, then again, I mean, it's Parisa honestly has been quite impressive recently not only as a pve enemy but i also saw some teams where she did really really well so next one is actually pity timer so we get one guaranteed let's see who it's going to be let's hope it's oh that's double eight here that's pr quite the weird one actually i think i've never seen that before so let's skip that and let's see what we get it's arn and seth i don't mind arn uh it's actually one of the heroes for the iron comp and the iron comp i have to say uh in the last video we got carolina and iron to paragon one and that has boosted my pvp so much as quite insane I won so many PvP matches that I didn't win before. It's like super consistent. It's way better. In PvP, Paragon makes a pretty big difference. So now I've been on Uprise there that I'm uh, absolutely going to destroy now uh, by testing weird teams. And that's that's the plan. I don't. We will do that. So that's a pretty good pull. Way better than expected. With three other A tiers there as well. So it's, I, it's really it's only A tiers, but we got two times five. So let's see what's in the next one. Uh, and those are four A tiers. I don't mind four A tiers. Four A tiers are very nice. Centrana, again, we got the core in there. Um, Nemo, or is he called Nemo or Nero? I, I, quite fancy. Quite fancy. I want to test him. I'm not sure if I'm going to like him, but uh, under the recent video, I explained which team I wanted to do with Igor, and somebody said, well, you should try him, because he can basically make it so one of your heroes revives, and that is quite the interesting ability. We're going to see how that works out. So let's see, next pull, till now, really, we are quite impressive. I'm going triple A tier, it's not super great, but we take it. We take it, we take every coron that we can get. Santrana and Parisa, some progress there. 
Uh, next one should not be the PT timer yet. Let's see what we get there. Oh, that's an S tier though. Let's go. Is it an Igor? That's a Santrana. I always say Santrana, but it's Satrana. Uh, that's a hamster. Maybe the S tier hamster. Okay, we're going to skip it. I don't want to wait anymore. And that is uh, Lumont. Okay, my first copy of him. I was just planning to get him one time, actually. Because I thought, like, it felt weird not to have every single hero. Uh, so now we have a new hero, it says right up there. Um, didn't reset a pity timer, by the way. Just saying. Because I heard that rumor that resets a pity timer. Didn't. Uh, so now we're just going to go for Brian again, I think. A-level wise. I mean, there are some more interesting ones. Uh, Walker, I think, is quite interesting. It's like super low rated. But if you face him PvE, you're always surprised how much he stuns you. It's like... It's like fairly interesting. So 39 more to go. Guaranteed one S tier in there. But I know our luck. It was going to be more. It is going to be more. I'm sure of that. So let's see. Come on. Give it. There you go. Okay. Well then we take three A tiers. I don't mind. I don't mind. That's a Corin. Uh, a Corin is always good. I wonder when he's going to be Paragon. It feels like he should have been Paragon ages ago. Ages ago. Next one. Come on S tier. Let's go. There it is, thank you, before the pity timer again. Ever so slightly, Brian, well, I don't mind, that's pretty cool. Uh, with this, I think it's a falcon, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it is It is uh, probably, well, it resembles a falcon, it is not probably really a falcon, but it is a fancy creature he can summon, and that uh, makes him quite a formidable enemy. Now let's skip the rest. No, we don't want to skip everything. Ah, nothing too great there. What do we get the pop-up pack? Oh, the Ascension Bundle. I haven't seen one of those in some time. I haven't seen one of those in some time. We are a bit poor though. 596 Dragon Crystals. And I have to say, now that there is no more dust in those, they don't quite have the same appeal to me. It's 65 uh, epic invite letters though, which is quite good. And of course you get the copy of Brian. Ah, shouldn't be disrespected. It's a decent pack nonetheless. But still, like I feel... A I don't like that there's gold in there, I don't like the gems, I think it should be a few more. So next one, give me just an S tier for free, come on, come on. Okay, or don't, or don't. Uh, I tried to do everything, by the way, to get another full 10 bomb, but the thing is, it is, it is quite difficult. It is quite difficult. As soon as you buy the stuff from the Emporium, and you bought this, I mean, this refreshes in 10 days, so it's like once a month or something, it's quite... The distance between those buys and you have everything from the world loot uh, well then you sit there and think okay where do i even get where do i even have the chance to get a single epic invite letter and uh, let me tell you there isn't really any option for that so i was i thought a okay labyrinth maybe but no it's like the clear rewards are already claimed no difficulties added to that yet at least so well no so we have to live with single pulls, sadly, for, for the epic invite letters, which is a bit sad. 11 more to go, so we are... Oh, we might be left with two on the pity timer. That is bad. <laughs> that is really, really bad. Oh my god. For in, in this situation, I would really like if there was like a really bad way to just buy an epic invite letter for like, I don't know, a thousand diamonds or something. For the video I would have done it, but there just isn't. So for, oh, we get an A tier, nice. So either you buy the normal ones or you drop the epic invite letters, but at some point you just don't get them anymore. Other than from the shop, of course. Uh, so let's see. This should be one of the last ones already. I have the bad feeling that we're really going to end on the two pity timer. <laughs> oh my god. It's really going to happen, isn't it? It is really going to happen. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, pitying out on this one really hurts, to be honest. I mean, I can't really complain about the amount of S tiers that we have summoned uh, from those epic invite letters, but still, leaving this with two more to go. I don't know, guys. That's not really it. But we have normal summons too. I think we can do some stuff here. Wishlist uh, should be set. We have Thorn in here. That is nice. Florable up here is also alright. We got a Smokey in there. Yeah, I think I think that is quite decent. Let's go. 
let's do some nice 10 bombs here. Um, at least five ones that we are going to buy. We didn't get a single ego copy yet, so in that regard we failed quite a lot, but I get four A tiers here, so I take that from a normal 10 bomb uh, every single day. Uh, and we are starting off, I don't know if that was the pity timer, I didn't check for that beforehand, let's see who that is. That is a Brutus, I mean I don't have Brutus at Supreme Plus yet, let's check the pity timer, 52 more to go, so... Uh, pity timer, we are going to hit it one more time within this video, so there's at least going to be one more S tier. But uh, I hope we are a bit more lucky and get it early on, but on the normal summons, I mean... I didn't get too many really high rolls there. I think we got one double S tier and that was about it on Epic. That, of course, looks a whole lot different. Let's see what we can do. Double A tier at least. We take it. Still Satrana. I mean, she has to be Supreme Plus at some point, doesn't she? Next one, let's go. Now that's a single one. That is guaranteed. So we're not going to be hyped about this, but it's an Arden. We take an Arden. Last time I was very hyped about Arden, only to notice that the distance to that is still quite big. I had a bit of hope that there was an S tier in there. But there is an Arden in there, so who am I to complain? That would be completely wrong, we're not going to do that. Uh, so, let's see. I want my S tier. <laughs> it's a quadruple A tier again. I mean, can't really say no to that. The next one, that should be the pity time I want, I think. It is indeed. So there. We go. Who's it going to be? Are we going to get our Igor? No, it's a Smokey. <laughs> oh, there wasn't really anybody else to set into that slot. We don't really need him. But I guess, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have Smokey on Paragon, I guess. It's not like we need him. So we do one more after that. And then we uh, sadly have to properly realize that we didn't get our Igor. And are yet still stuck after such a video with an Igor at uh, Mythic. And not even Mythic Plus. So, yeah. Sadly, the reality we have to accept on this one. Um, furthermore, I know at least a few updates. I mean, we got this guy now. Can also get some socket stuff there. It looks quite cool. I mean, I like Lumont's design. It's not really that usable, but I like his design. So, Centrana. We go to Supreme Plus. Pretty cool. Um, some people have asked me to test her. I guess right now that in this situation that we have her at Supreme Plus, we can test her. As Supreme Plus is actually one of the abilities that is quite essential to her. One thing that we are going to wait for is we want to have our set bonus here. Um, that is something we're going to do. But beyond that, I think it will be quite cool. So Nero, on the other hand, goes to Supreme Plus. So those are it's another Supreme Plus, which makes two in this video. Pretty cool. Um, and then we also have Seth, Seth getting at least a small upgrade, we only recently started upgrading him, having him already a legendary plus is quite great, 4 out of 10 there. Um, then we have Lucius also going to Supreme Plus, 3 Supreme Plus heroes in this video, pretty pretty cool, might have to change our setup there a little bit, of course I mean in the wishlist, so... Um, one thing I am wondering a bit about, though, we have 10 more copies of Arden that we need. 10 more. This is quite a lot, actually. 10 more. I expected it to be a bit less. We can check out the Emporium. Is there anything we can do in the Emporium? 19k. I would say, guys, there is something we can do here. And that is hitting that 12k juicy button. By the way, by the way, top tier tip for everybody that has watched this video this long to this point. Top tier tip from me. Um, guild quest. No, not guild quest. Not guild quest. Noble path. Noble path. If you go to the quests. And not the daily. I think it was a weekly one, wasn't it? Make purchase times 10 at the Emporium. Never do what I just did and buy 10 uh, at once. It will count as one single purchase. They count, can somehow made this wrong. They just said, okay, if you purchase one time, um, then it's one for this counter. And if I bought every single copy, one by one, so one copy at a time, one copy, one copy, one copy, this would be maxed. 
This will be 10 purchases. So keep that in mind. Never buy multiples if you don't have that quest complete. You can easily complete that if you have, have something to do like this anyway. Um, but make sure to buy things one at a time if you want to complete this fast. So little tip for that. But now, of course, let's get our R2 Paragon 1. Very, very nice. That is what we wanted to have. Pretty cool to have Arden there and basically uh, to have the full squad lined up. Uh, we have now pretty much the full setup. We can go like this, like this. And uh, well, Damien is not really upgraded. That is that is a bit sad, but I think, don't think we're even close there. Six out of 45. I mean, Damien doesn't really need it. Doesn't really need it. Um, still feels wrong to not have him upgraded, but uh, that is that is certainly impressive amount of damage that we uh, have there. Maybe let's for the end of this video attack somebody. Oh, Haradi is a bit of yeah, that's a bit of a stretch, I assume. <laughs> Haradi is very strong, uh, but I'm not afraid of Antium, so we are going to attack Antium because I want to win <laughs> at the end of this video. And there we can see a nice crowns with the one there. Uh, and uh, hopefully we're not going to face bad RNG. I'm going to lose this. We can we can watch this in uh, times one speed. I think that is all right. And usually, uh, what I notice is like the Damien here, of course, helps a ton. Then we have the Skalita shields, and then you quickly realize that there is just way more damage hitting the enemy than hitting my heroes. We're getting ults earlier than the enemy, and uh, you just see how fast his heroes are really dying compared to ours. Of course, we now get completely demolished by a random Thorin uh, ult. My god, if I have to face another random Thorin ult, I'm going to cry a river. Is that going to be just the second Thorin ult that's going to demolish me? That's going to be... Is, that is a joke, right? <laughs> that is a joke! Like, are you kidding? <laughs> No credit card on this planet can save you from this guy. Honestly, Thor is busted. That is just ridiculous. That is just ridiculous that I lost that. That is so ridiculous that I lost that. But it's just Thor. It's just Thor. Thor charging up his ult. Even if we killed him, it wouldn't have mattered. He would have just hit out his ult anyway. I wouldn't want to watch that in double speed. I don't. I don't even want to see a Thor ult if I'm going to hit by another one, because uh, that is that is just horrible. Should be illegal. Um, and uh, something to be removed from the game. My, my Carolina died again. It is, it is just going well. <laughs> yeah, okay. That is a very nice end for this video. Sending this Thor into space where he belongs, off the map with him. We didn't even see the last fight. We just saw this fight where we sent Thor into space. So, with that, I think we can end this video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see us in the next one.